No substance. So today's top five are the top five worst, <laughs> worst video movie. game movies. Now, Alicia Vikander is going to be on the big screen pretty soon in, as Lara Croft in the updated version of Tomb Raider. Yep. Taking over the role for Angelina Jolie. Mm, so I miss Ang I miss you, Angelina. I miss you. Yes, we do. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but and, and it looks promising. It looks really good. Right. I, I, hopefully, it does do something right. Uh, but let's talk about the ones that did something wrong. Right. So, Terrence! Right and wrong. Go first. Wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My uh, top five... Uh, worst video game movies it was a real struggle for me because there's a lot of movies that I kind of like eh, the era I understand it eh, it wasn't that bad so we're gonna talk about the ones that I I can't I can't defend we're gonna talk about the ones I can't defend so they will never be on you don't hear never never at all <laughs> number five number five dead alive dead alive dead alive never seen it. it's a... <laughs> that's how bad it was all right how bad it was all right, so Dead Alive is based on the, the Tecmo uh, fighting game, which basically has a, it's, it competes with Tekken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I know. So, so, yeah, yeah. But in the live action movie, it starred uh, old Margot Robbie. And if you don't know who old Margot Robbie is, it's uh, Jamie, Jamie Presley. Presley. Jamie Presley. <laughs> Presley, 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 whatever. 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 She looks like Margot Robbie. Well, Margot Robbie looks like her when she was younger. <laughs> But that movie, that, that, that casting actually got me to watch that movie. And when she wasn't on oh screen, <laughs> when she wasn't on screen, I was so disappointed in this movie. I yawned but when she was on screen, I was in the movie. But when she wasn't on screen, I was out of the movie. It was that bad. It was, the acting was bad. The action was bad. It was just bad all around. So, so James it was like, it barely, it, like they kept trying to force this fighting thing. And then it was just not good. But there's worse movies that I have on my video game. And I have a feeling it's number four! Number four! <laughs> number four is, uh, you see, I went back and forth with this one. All right. Because there, uh, I could say there is a uh, Street Fighter's a bad movie, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, but you know what's worse than Street Fighter? <laughs> Legend of Chun Li! That was worse than Street Fighter. You know why? Because Street Fighter came out in the 80s. You know, they hadn't, they hadn't actually gotten video game movies down yet. Legend of Chun Li came out in the 2000s. You know what you got, you can do wrong. It was like they gave too much explanation to her backstory, which literally took like a one scene in any movie. My dad died, was killed by Bison. I gotta go avenge him. That's what you gotta do. It didn't need to be this long drawn out plot and this whole thing with the crappy Vega that they had in there and the horrible <laughs> action scenes. It was just dumb and boring and unneeded. And when it was announced, you're like so excited. They're gonna get Street Fighter right this time. No, they didn't. They ruined it worse. Get John claude Van Damme back. Oh, <laughs> no! Double drag. Uh. <laughs> Once again, another movie that a woman got me to go see. Alyssa Milano was in this movie. And that was the only reason I wanted to go see this movie. Not well, Mark because... <laughs> No. Brotherhood of the Wolf? No, and I like him. No, not in this movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, the, I, I love the video game. I even read the comic. They actually came out with a comic tie-in when this movie was actually being announced. It was a really good comic. It was a short mini-series that they did. It was a really good comic. This movie blew. <laughs> it blew so bad. It was so bad because they tried to make it. They tried to keep it more like kid-like, and it was it was uh, kind of like what they did with Dragon Ball, which Dragon Ball. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. So, <laughs> and so yes. Oh, okay. So um, the uh, they they tried to make it more family friendly and more kid friendly and so like that. I know the audience they felt with this was for kids, but they went too childlike and it just it was it just didn't work. It didn't work for fighting a game about beating people up. He's like at the beginning of the move at the beginning of the video game, they punch your girlfriend and they throw you over the shoulder. That deserves a PG-13, you know. <laughs> at the very least, it deserves a PG-13. Not a PG. Come on, man. Right. Number two! Number two! <laughs> Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Ah! This movie single-handedly undid everything that the first Mortal Kombat built. <laughs> it was F-U-J-J before F-U-J-J. It was. It was F-U and Boone, John Tobias, everybody from Midway. They said F you in this movie. F you Midway. F you Midway. 
it threw every character that they could think of because at the time this came out, I think uh, MK3 had come out. So uh, they had a lot of characters at the time. So they were like, oh, we got to make sure we push these characters so that way the game sells. But no, <laughs> it's like, the worst stuff ever. One, they just, they changed, they recasted everybody. <laughs> they well, recasted everybody but Robin Cho. Yeah, that was it. Thing. They recasted everybody. Like 99.9% .9 of this cast was recast. So uh, they recasted everybody, and then they like it said, okay, we did a great job of casting. Who are the people that we turned down for casting? Let's go ahead and call them people back because we don't want to pay the original people to do this. Like, let's, let's get those guys back in and then let them do a crap job, and we're still going to see, we're going to throw this movie out. They recasted Shao Kahn at the end. It was like, they just did everything. They did everything wrong in this movie. The fight scenes were worse than the original movie. Uh, everything was worse. Everything. Everything. All right. Number um, one. Number one. Because I felt like I'm, I ran it on that one too long. All right. This is the obvious one. <laughs> Super Mario. Super Mario. Hopper again. What are you doing? Hopper. Like <laughs> this movie is so bad that the cast members had to drink to go to set. <laughs> John Leguizamo came on and said he was like we, him and Brian and uh, Bob Hoskins. They had to get drunk before they would go to set because they knew the story and the scripts were so bad and they didn't want to do this movie so much they had to get drunk to go on set. Dennis Hopper in his lame version, look, Dennis Hopper's a good actor. This was this was right. This was writing, it was like they just came up with some psychedelic mushroom trip. Yes, mushrooms, because it's a Super Mario thing. So <laughs> they came up with this weird psychedelic trip of what they thought Super Mario was, and they threw it out there. It was like making these weird hybrid turtle people, the Goombas, uh, giving them like these boots where they could jump high and stuff like that. And this, it was a Mario Mario. What's your name? My name's Mario. What's your name? My name is Luigi. What's your last name? Mario. What's your name? Uh, my last name's Mario. It's Mario Mario and then Luigi Mario. That's how dumb this movie was. That's how bad that movie. <laughs> well, that who's movie... drunker, the actors or the dude that wrote it? <laughs> this movie's so bad that that Nintendo won't license their characters for a movie ever again. Well, well they're on their way. They, that's a possibility. That's gonna be. But anime. And then somebody's got. Yeah, they won't do a live action. Somebody's gonna show them Super Mario Brothers again and they're like, nah, forget it. Just yeah, give no. it back, just give it back. Just. Okay, one more <laughs> yeah, one more roll. Okay, one more roll. All right, that's my top five. My number five is Assassin's Creed. It's so bad, it's got ass in the title twice. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, not that bad. Fastbender, come on. It was boring. The, the trailer was better than the movie. It was. The poster was better than the movie. It was. <laughs> Marion Cotillard was like the best thing in the whole movie. A woman got me to see that movie. <laughs> there you go. Got me to see many, many movies. Holly Algo made me go see that movie. Me. So that was my number five, bad movie. Number four! Number four was Street Fighter with John claude Van Damme. Whoa! I hate that movie. You are just biased, sir. <laughs> I you're can't biased. Stand that you're movie. biased against John claude Van Damme. I don't like that movie. You know, when it comes to when it comes to Street Fighter, the main characters of that of that game is Ryu and Ken, and Bison, I'll give you that. But other than that, Guy was like a freaking third rate character on the side, but they made Whoa. him the number one I played Guile all, I, the I him all the time. I played him all the time. But the point I'm making is that, you know, they centered it around Guile, it shouldn't have been, it should have been Ryu, they should have gone a different way. I, I just, I, Raul Julia was very miscast, unfortunately, I love Raul Julia. Well, because they were he working at, by the way, I'm about to defend this movie. They were working the whole Interpol thing with Chun-Li and, 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 and John Clark. This guy. Anyway, <laughs> so, and, what? Come on, Rob Jordan was like was too ball rock. It, it he was like, too ball rock. <laughs> there was no freaking change. The guy didn't even make it his own. I can't remember his name. Come on, the What's best the line of this movie. Boyd, something. I think the best line of this movie. Oh, I can't it was like, you, love you, you know, the day that Bison graced your town. It was like, was was the best day of your life. But for me, it was a Tuesday. <laughs> it was the best line ever. Okay, that was a cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not like. Number three <laughs> was also Double Dragon. Yes, it was horrible. The Costco, come on. And then uh, and the, the great martial artist. I, I don't know how. But that movie was just, it was absolutely awful. It was, they were trying too damn hard, really, mm -hmm. to try to freaking adapt it from the video game. But there are some things I don't where think they try hard be, enough to be adapted. Well, there have to be some kind of a real punch a girl in, in the gut. I'd rather, <laughs> this, I'd rather see the freaking, I'd rather see the graphics on the Nintendo Double Dragon game. Oh, that's And don't watch this movie. That movie was, it really was bad. I, I don't even have a defense for it. It, it was it was so so bad. Even Melissa Milano with her short haircut and her blonde hair. Mm. <laughs> number two. Number two. Was also Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I 
I can't believe it's number two. What beat Super Mario Brothers? I'll get to that in a bit. Uh. Super Mario Brothers had, you know, you, you have Bob Hoskins, who pretty much really does look the part of Mario. Yeah. But John Leguizamo has no business playing Luigi at all. He's not Italian. He's not tall. He's not... <laughs> he has no business playing Luigi at all. Well, this is was his was him trying to this is pick like the, bigger this roles is like Super and stuff Mario like that. Brothers Part Two, like the video game, because nobody remembers Part Two. <laughs> Doki Doki Panic was actually Super Mario Brothers Part Two, and it was actually a reskin of another game. They actually just put the Super Mario characters on top of another game that had already sold well. And because they were, because the original Super Mario, well, we're getting off topic. The original Super Mario Brothers 2, they thought was too hard for Americans and they didn't want to put that, they didn't want to release that game over here. Right. Yeah. So they did Doki Doki Panic and they just reskinned it as Super Mario Brothers 2. The more you know. Yeah, I know. Number one! <laughs> Number one! Number <laughs> one was Mortal Kombat Annihilation. It was bad. I'm so sorry, but you know what? Look, man, you got some pretty decent actors. I mean, you got freaking James Remar who played the bad guy in 48 Hours yeah. in Gans. But he has no business playing freaking Raiden. All right? That's Christopher Lambert. Lambert is Raiden. He's well, because you want to hear the he, laugh? He's three things. He's freaking Raiden. He's freaking Highlander. Highlander. And he's freaking, <laughs> he's freaking Tarzan. All right? Those are three things. Really? Those are, those are three things that Christopher Lambert okay. is. Great stuff. Yeah, Christopher I know Christopher. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's Lambert. Lambert's an awesome actor. He should have been in Annihilation. Remar had no business being in there. No, no disrespect to him, but no. And Shao Kahn. Okay. Brian Hammer, whatever the hell his name is, the bad guy from Cobra. Yeah. I'd rather see him as the bad guy from Cobra <laughs> than have him be freaking Shao Kahn. The, I just, the casting was bad. Talissa Soto did come back as, what was the... the, the what it was wasn't Talissa Soto. It was Talissa Soto. I Shao thought it was, was uh... It was the daughter I, or something? I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about a porn star. I, was, <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> I, was like, Khalifa, no. I don't know, I thought it was Asia Carrera. <laughs> <laughs> It probably would have! <laughs> Mortal, like, or Hortal Combat. Hortal Combat. That movie Hashtag Hortal probably, Combat. <laughs> that movie would have probably done better and been acted better than Mortal Combat. That's horrible. Annihilation. That's horrible. Awful, awful movie. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. All right, honorable mentions. Um, <sighs> honorable mentions. <laughs> you know how messed up this is? Honorable mentions for worst movies. Um, <laughs> I know it's probably your, on your honorable mention list, but you know, obviously, uh, House of the Dead. House of the Dead. Uh, all the Resident Evil movies. I disagree with that. All of them. <laughs> Maybe the Retri one. Retribution was, oh, was, was bad, but other than that, the next chapter, the final chapter was good. Afterlife, I thought was good. I wasn't a fan of. Uh, did we watch? Did we a, watch the same movies? Because they fan, were all bad. I wasn't a fan of of, of uh, Extinction. That one I was not a fan. All of the, the first one, passable. Just like Transformers, the first one, passable. Everything else that came out of the first one. Did have a Dark of the Moon? Yeah, it was called two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it had. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, I also put down Street Fighter. Because, like I said, it was my toss-up between that and uh, Chun Li, but I still think that that movie was an '80s movie, and it deserves a pass. They didn't, they didn't get a pass. They got your own wishes. It got an. That's what it didn't make my top five. Yeah, but if it was the top it, ten, it'd be in it. <laughs> it would. It would. It would. That's my. That's my. All right, mine was also House of the Dead. Uh, Max Payne, because. I just don't like Wahlberg in that movie. I li I watched that movie one time and I didn't care enough about exactly. it to be mad about it. I didn't care enough about it, it to be boring. mad about it. I had to, I changed it. A movie it where like boring. the whole thing is about like this whole slow-mo and gunplay and stuff like that. It, yeah, it was it was basically a Matrix video game when the Matrix video game sucked. <laughs> that was a better Matrix game than the actual Matrix game. Uh, <laughs> sorry about this one because I know you actually like this movie, I don't know why, but Warcraft! I, I like, love Warcraft. I do not like Warcraft. Paula Patton could not say that. Look, before. you just you look at Paula Patton, and then you don't you turn the volume down. You turn the mute, and then you just watch her on screen. And then when she's off screen, then you turn the mute up, and the rest of the movie's fine. Yeah, Trust yeah. me, you will love the movie if you just mute when she talks, and you just look at her on screen, and then you unmute it when she goes off screen. The motion capture, special effects. Yeah, that's it. Other Amazing. Than that, other than that. The acting was bad. The Paul Patton's, Patton's acting the was bad. Was Paul bad. Patton's acting, say it right. Paul Patton's okay, acting anyway, was bad. Everybody else is fine. Mute her on screen. That's and the, it. And the, the last one for me was Blood Rain. I saw that movie. I played the game one time. One time. No, one I, played time. It, I played it like twice. I played the game one time and I didn't care enough about the game to care about the movie. 
I care about mm-hmm. Kristana Logan because you know she was uh, like hot off freaking. This Terminator, was coming off ter- Terminator, Terminator Three. Terminator Three. Yeah. <clears throat> so I was interested, in, especially her in the poster. Uh, maybe or oh, the cover box. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, man. Oh, Silent Hill. Uh, Terminator Four. Silent Hill Re- Re- Revelations. That one was also bad. God, part one was great. Part one was great. Part one was two great. let me down so bad. <laughs> So let us know your top five worst video game movies. All right. Comment below. Terrence, take us home. All right, so if there are other worst video games to this, I know it seems like we kind of had the same list because those movies really suck. They really suck. Make sure you put them in the comments below because we want to hear about them and mesh, mesh lists together. Chris, we're talking to you. Uh, but also, too, <laughs> if this is the first time you're on the channel, make sure you uh, make sure you like and comment. Tell us what you guys think about what we actually give you on the channel as well as subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you're aware of all the other videos when we post them and uh, everything that we do here on the channel. For uh, Aspen and Art, where the hell are they at? Because they're never here. They build. I'm Manny. And I'm Terrence. And we'll see you next time. Maybe we should have done a Latin one. Maybe Art would show up. Yep. <laughs> Latin video games. Starring Danny Trejo. How many Danny Trejo video games do we have? Was there? Was there? A, is is there? A, is there a Once Upon a Time Mexico? Is there a? Terrence. It's. A, I didn't have my my, my microphone on. <laughs> <laughs> we do it again. <laughs> what time is?